guys, we're back again, and today we're going to be talking about the cauldron. This is arguably the toughest mission, <laughs> I would say, in in the whole book, um, the it's whole Flames of War uh, rulebook. It's tough. It's tough all round. Um, Matt, give us a, a, an overview. Uh, we've got it set up roughly the way that this would uh, this would work. Uh, obviously, you'd be playing on a larger table than our little area we have here, but okay. um, we've set it up as close as we possibly can. So. Uh, um, what you've got basically is your defenders, yeah. who've actually made a previous victory, pushed through the enemy lines and made um, a little hole, basically. Yeah. You've got to defend this hole, so over the night you've prepared your positions, you've got yourself sorted out and dug in there. Yeah. A lot of your troops are going to be in reserve. You're going to be trying to bring them back on, get them back in. Some of them basically are coming from the opposite side of the table. Yeah, that, that's one of the, the, the big this is problems you, that you're going you're gonna to find here. Because units previously yeah, have punched yeah. all the way through and they're now coming back. Yeah. But while that's happening, obviously the attacker, who's now trying to seal off this little mm. piece, has his force starting from here. His reserves are going to come in from the side and try yeah. and basically close the gap. Yeah. In, in other words, if you're the defender, you've been pre-flanked. <laughs> <laughs> Before the game starts, you're already you're already fighting on on two fronts, basically, um, and it's and it's tough. So, what would you suggest? Um, I've already started uh, some of my preparations that I would I would be using, which of course is trying to angle some of my tanks and things, so that I have I'm spreading my front armor yep. to either side as much as possible, and of course this direction because your your opponents can come in from the flank but they can come in anywhere from the flank so potentially yeah. you could be coming i could come in basically what's what's the front you know so so from the, from this direction um and trying to spread your your front armor out is the problem because let's even just looking at this this guy is nearly on the flanks of my of my tanks already yeah, it's it's you know not, it's not gonna be long yeah so um you know it's gonna be it's gonna be tough um, the, the temptation, of course, is to just castle everything up in a big block uh, where, ever, where everything's facing outwards, where, of course, this <laughs> will soon finish me off. Uh, with a if we had some on the table, that would be awesome. That, that would be <laughs> exactly what would be what would be happening. There would be some artillery coming down and just shelling all my tanks, and that would be it. Yeah. Um, but but what's your advice then, Matt? What, what's if I'm a defender? What what's what's my best tactic here to go with? As a defender, a lot of this area is going to be pre-dug in positions. Yeah. You've spent the evening basically digging in. Rather than tanks, I'd be looking at anti-tank guns and infantry dug in around here. Right. And my artillery, because I want to be throwing artillery out. Yeah. Bound to have artillery and you don't want it trying to arrive on as reserves at the other end of the yeah. table. <laughs> they pulled on. Get like. them on there <laughs> yeah. as quickly as possible. Use your vehicles and other things uh -huh. to be the reserves that come back. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it is a bit like castling up. You're going to be defending this like buggery with yeah. dug-in troops, anti-tank guns. Obviously, as the attacker, you want to be getting there as quickly as possible. Yeah, of course. Uh, saying that, um, you know, when we've got troops here, if we're digging in troops, not a huge amount of firepower to try and defend against tanks and things. No uh, artillery guns. If we could get them, great. That's why I said you, yeah. you want them dug in there so if you've got them. Get, get artillery. <laughs> an artillery gun can be just as effective against a tank direct fired. Well, that's, that's true. Yeah. They're, 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 you can make a nice little strong point there, but as you said, you're going to be coming in on flanks, you're going to be coming in from the front, mm -hmm. so your units are going to be pointing not necessarily where you want them to. Okay, so so the, 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 first, the first thing to do then is, is decide exactly what I'm going to deploy. And it's a, it's a small deployment area as well. It's it is, it is. There's a little block in the middle of you. Yeah. So so basically, we're, we're, going, we're running with, we want dug-in troops, um, artillery if we have it. Yep. Um, and if we don't have it, if we've gone all with tanks, which of course is always the uh, always the temptation. Tanks, once again, it's getting yourself hauled down in concealed positions, knowing you're going to be flanked. So don't necessarily just point your front armor that way. Yeah. Give it a little tilt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here and there exactly. and make sure these try buildings and, hiding yeah. you from the flanks. That's it. Try and try and get a, a, an angle on it because remember you can always turn your turret. One one of the things, if you've got tanks with turrets, remember you can turn the turret. They're always handy. Yeah. Um well there you go guys. Uh just a little bit of a uh, of of guidance perhaps as opposed to uh telling you how to win that one because cauldron is so tough. But uh, it's it's very difficult to. to uh, it's all down to the reserves. It's it's all down to yeah, it's all down to what you're bringing on. If if you can get plenty of uh, of 
good uh, troops all dug in, some a bit of artillery to, to hold off the, the enemy tank because that let's face it, that's what's coming in from the flanks. It's gonna be it's gonna be tanks. Um, and you want your tanks coming, coming in, in behind coming in behind them, even better. Um, but watch your flanks again. But again, again, flank again. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> they're, they're gonna come in from the other flank and uh, yeah, it's it's monstrous. So there you go guys. If you have any any suggestions of course on how you play Cauldron, then please drop some comments below. We'd be glad to read them. Um, and other than that, we'll get on. We'll see if we can help get some more Flames of War for you.